right. I have um, a couple of packages to open. This is from that Timu, Timu, whatever it is. Um, and that's from uh, St. Louis Art Supply. This one, I am so happy I got this. <laughs> um, I've been tracking it. Yay, water brushes. That's all I got. <laughs> um, because I've got plans for these. You know me, I gotta keep putting ink into these things. But um, yeah, so it ended up, each one of these was $1.18. So $1.18 for three of them, which is amazing. It's a small, medium, large. The large really isn't too bad. I like a smaller tip, but yeah, it doesn't matter. I can always cut it down if I want it, so that's the first one. And this is, I'm trying to remember what I ordered. Oh yeah. A little container I just liked it I mean you can put a pen in there or pencil but I just like the case because I'm weird like that I like little um, cases it's got kind of a matte finish to it it's got an insert that you can take out if you wanted to put a pen in but is this a sticker if it's a sticker I'll be really happy oh it's a sticker yay they always send you a little um, ruler and this is gold ink I should have used this on project I'm doing. That's okay. So I just wanted to try this. I've seen it. Um, and it's got me curious. So this may seem like an odd part of my haul, but I thought I would share it with you if you're unaware. Because it may not seem like it, but it's an art supply. <laughs> um, these are makeup remover towels. And these work fantastic at getting paint off your hands. I just, um, I don't wear makeup, so I don't even use these um, for that. But I got, um, I got a pack, some, either it was a free sample, or I don't know, it was like a small pack, and it was the Neutrogena ones. And I had them next to me. I don't know what possessed me to use them to clean my hands, but I thought, well, I gotta use them for something. And I was like, it's magic, the paint comes right off. So I thought I would recommend that if you're unaware of it. And uh, these were pretty cheap, I guess. Um, these were about $3 a piece. Six bucks for the cheap pack. And there's 40 in each one. But yeah, they work really well. I mean, I haven't done it with oil paint, but I've done it with acrylic paint, with ink, with watercolor, like a liquid watercolor that's sort of dye-based um, markers. Anything comes right off. So just in case you didn't know. So that's part of my haul. <laughs> All right, just a quick... Uh, haul item, tiny haul item. I just went, um, oh, okay. <laughs> I just went uh, down to Walmart. I never leave the house. If I get something from Walmart, I usually just order it and have it either delivered to me or mailed to me. Um, I got a card. That's not very interesting. But this is what I went down for because I am, um, it's uh, puffy paint, <laughs> which I have none of. But I had an idea for something, so if the idea works out, you'll be seeing it in a future video. But while I was there, I saw these. How cute are these? They're tiny little canvases. They're um, three by nine in a set of two. How much for those? Canvas two pack. Four ninety eight. So two fifty a piece. I just thought that was really cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do on them, but I just I love weird little canvases. So I mean, they're just cheap little canvas, but they could be fun. So. That's my Walmart haul. <laughs> These two things. Nice brick. <laughs> Hi, Murphy. Yes, another puzzle. I know. This is 
Um, it's it's kind of like the the fake Legos again, but it's um it's Van Gogh's bedroom. Can you see that? <laughs> How cool is that? So you get to make a little Van Gogh and a little bed, and you get to decorate the room and everything. So I thought that would be something fun to do. Yay, packages! I just got two packages. I'm so excited. Um, this one. I don't want to get too close. Jane Davenport. That came from Australia. Yay! And this is Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to do one at a time. I think I'll do Hobby Lobby first. It's funny because I saw the mail coming. I knew that the Jane Davenport was coming. And um, while the mail truck was still out there, the FedEx guy pulled up with the package from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Turf Wars! things I got. This is soap. That I use every day to clean my brushes and it's the best. It smells like almond. It smells so good. Ah, oh, oh, it's dripping out. <laughs> so I got another one of these. I got um, a similar sketchbook to one I got from them before because the paper is so nice and thick. It's Bristol. And I thought it'd be really good for um, ink or gouache. And it's a little smaller than the other one. But I like the paper so much, I just wanted to get another one. So there's that. I got this. I love boxes. <laughs> um, they had a different... They said you wouldn't be able to choose like what design you got. This wasn't the one I thought I was going to get. But it wasn't the bad one either, so I don't think. Yeah, I just I like to get little tins and things. There's another tin. I got one someplace else, but it's smaller. Oh, that one's good. It opens. I like the ones that open like that, that the cover stays connected to it. I don't know. I thought I could store, like, even, uh, like, the little Legos and stuff, little extra pieces I could stick in there or whatever. So that's what's in this one. This has got um, little bricks left over. Oh, is this the bigger one? This is the bigger one. I think there's some fingerprints all over it. These grubby paws have been all over my sketchbook. Yeah, this one's 10 by 10 and this is probably, this is 8 by 8. I'm pretty sure it's the same paper. It's smooth Bristol, just a different color. And the covers are kind of, they feel like rubber almost. this one before but I can, and I look at that. you can do across a whole page like a big landscape style thing oh I just love these I mean I love watercolor too but when I work I'm kind of into inks lately so or gouache so these will be perfect and the trays they just unfinished what's that <laughs> unfinished trays but they're good size they're pretty cheap i like trays to put like if i'm working on something and i want a particular set of inks or watercolors or something i can stick them in here and move it around as as opposed to dragging my tray around i mean my cart so three different sizes and they're paintable uh-oh look at that's coming loose i have to glue that so i mean it's that kind of sturdy but it's also fun to kind of store, even if I just left this on the table and put different. I keep my um, like my paintbrushes in little like little jars, so I could just put jars in here. This is kind of crooked. Yeah, I gotta fix that now. The three trays. All right, so that's it from Hobby Lobby. 
And now we get to open the Jane Davenport, which is super, I've been waiting for, well, it always, it's always anticipation, because when it comes from Australia, it takes, you know, longer than it would most places, because you never know how long it's going to take to come. Sometimes it gets stuck in customs, sometimes it takes a while to get on the plane, but I've been putting, ever since my last order from her, I've been putting stuff in my cart, putting stuff in my cart, waiting, 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 so now... This is all the stuff I ordered. <laughs> Cause you gotta make it worth it. If it's gonna if it's gonna wait that long, you may as well make one big order and then put stuff in your cart for the next time. I think I've already got something in my cart. Yeah, she came out with a new set of brushes right after my order. I'm like, ah, I want those brushes. Bunny. She usually sends a little free gift in there. A <laughs> little bunny pen. Oh, for Easter. That one. A little. Oh, God, these are heavy. Oh, she might have just stuck those in there, like a little folder. Hey, that's cool. Right, instead of wrapping them. Right. Oh, I know what these are. I'll open those first. I like that folder. Okay, put this in. Little bunny pen. It's pen? Pencil. Pen. Is it white? Oh no, it's got a little, got a little, um, no, it's nice. It's like a gel pen. It's actually pretty good. Okay, these are these are like, um, they're called layer cakes. Um, so, urban jungle, spring to life, Countenance, Heaven and Earth, and Seas Day. Um, I have the other ones. Is that a little sticker? Oh, I don't know why they get... Whatever they're made of, they get a little bit wet. Like, um, they kind of sweat, you know what I mean? In certain weather, I guess. They don't sweat here, or they haven't lately anyway. Oh, see, you can see it. You can see how that's a little wet. It's, she says it's like a gouache, but it's, I don't know. It's hard to describe what it is. Um, they're really fun to paint with. It's opaque. And, but once they dry, they're almost like a pastel because they do smudge. So you have to put a fixative on them. But they're just, I just want to wipe all this stuff out. I think that happened last time when I got the, uh, I got the longer, the last time I got um, a package from her, I got the longer sets in um, the rectangular package and they were kind of sweaty too. So, maybe I should just kind of dab it a little. Yeah. All right, so anyway, wanna look at the colors? <laughs> so I have four others, I believe. Is this a sticker or is it? Yeah, I think it is. But there's a sticker on the back, so. See, this one's not sweaty. That one's bumpy, though. Oh, see, if you touch them, they're a little bit sticky. If 
feel cold. That's weird. It must be the weather change from Australia to here. <laughs> Halfway across the world. And then that one. It's still cold here. It's spring, but it's just starting, so. I'm gonna have to use those to paint something. It's just I'll have to I'll have to spray whatever I do because they do smudge. I don't think I've ever used them in a video, have I? These are good for um like faces, different skin tones and pink for like lips and cheeks. Okay, and this is the other one. I love these colors. They're so bright. I love these. Oh, so neat. All right, I'm gonna have to do something because I mean, I'm gonna have to do a piece with these. Something fun. Just to show you how fun they are. And I think. I like this paper, too. Okay. And new ink. Now, I have Gods and Monsters, but these are new colors. Stickers. Then these are the Roman Gods, so. I'm not going to torture you by opening them all, but you'll know what they look like. So, there's that. And then, oh, it's not a sticker. Okay. New ink. Because, you know, I don't have enough ink. Clearly. So, glimmer ink. Set two, set one, okay. Let's see. So I'm guessing, okay. Oh. Yeah. So these are all the colors. So one set must be these and one, the other set must be those. Oh, that looks pretty. More stickers. Ooh, hustle, that looks good. Let's open this one. It says glimmer, so I'm wondering if they're um, like sparkly. It doesn't look like they are. Oh, maybe, I don't know, it's hard to tell. <laughs> um, all right, Bolero, let's look at that one. Oh, see, they are glimmery. They do, they're kind of like the, the inks I just got from um, Goulet Pen. They are very sparkly. Oh, they're so pretty. So sparkly. I mean, it's sparkly in here. When they dry, they don't, it's not overwhelming, so that's a good thing. I want to see this one. It's so sparkly. Can you see it? I mean, you see the sparkle in there? Oh, look at that. Let me grab the camera. Can you see that? I know there's a lot of re reflection. You can see the sparkle, but it's not like overwhelming. Well, I know what I'm doing this afternoon. I'm playing with all this stuff. 
And these are, oh, I got something else here. What are they? Oh, I know what these are. I like these bags. So this goes along with this. So these are for putting um, the these things on, these stamps. You like stick them to them and then you can, or you can line them up because there's a grid on there. All right, let's look at the, is this too shiny to see? Should I take them out? Is it too shiny? Can you see it? You can see it if I hold it that way. This is like a girl and a little tutu and a crowns and shoes and all that stuff. And that. Of course, I got this one because it reminded me of me and Murphy. This little kitty. <laughs> little flowers. Everyone needs a sidekick. Oh, it's Murphy's my sidekick. <laughs> um, just a face. I don't know. Well, do I, does one of these fit on here? That should fit on there, maybe. So you could just, like, slap that down and then draw, like, a hair and a, you know, facial around it. Like, cheeks and whatever. I just thought that'd be fun. I don't know. It'd be something fun to do in my sketchbook. And these are some more, like, little faces, and you could, like, add the hair and do all kinds of crazy stuff. And this one is just a plain face, and you can add different eyes, different lips, different um, nose. So that would be fun. These, oh, this is, um, I'm not sure what you can do with this. <laughs> it just looked fun. So you can make a body with different legs and arms. I don't know, but look kind of fun. This one. Oh, these are stencils. Why did I think these were stencils? Oh, these are kind of fun. I like this. I know I keep talking about this folder, but I like it. It's so colorful. Um, so I guess these are the stencils. So you could do a different body, a different face, different hair. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to play with. Yeah. So that's it. That's my haul. Yeah, now that it's uh, dried, you can see there's like a, there is a sheen to it, but it's not, like I said, it's not like glitter is in it or anything. That orange is so pretty. I don't know, should I do a swatch? Maybe I'll do swatches, because it does look different than it does on the box. I'll do swatches. And I'll speed it up. I don't know. We'll see. So these are the colors. They look different once they dry. I really like them all. So these are the Glimmer inks. This one I really hated when I put it down, but um, I liked it once it dried. I love these. I love all of them. Love this. I just added some of this to this to see what the orange would be like. It looks like it's just got um, a bit of mica mixed in to make it shimmery. So I thought I would also do a little swatch test of these, just show you how much fun they are. These are the colors dried. So they are very um, matte, very um, opaque, they do smudge. So I think um, you have to use a fixative with them or something. Um, two um, packages. Both have the same thing in it. <laughs> Different, but the same. So this, that worked well. Okay. This is from Karst. And it is stone paper sketchbook. I actually got, it was a, a bundle that I got. The scary part is I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. I'm hoping I like it. it seems like it might be a, a good thing, but it's made out of stone <laughs> instead of trees. Um, I saw, I was in Barnes and Noble last weekend and um, they had like little notebooks or whatever, journals or something. And it said stone paper. And I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. And I thought they've got to make 
sketchbooks, but I looked and they didn't have any when I was there. And they didn't have any of them open, so I couldn't feel it or anything. So it says it works with wet and dry mediums. So let's see. So there's a little one, A6, A5, and A4. Of course, I prefer the A4, especially in a, um, in a portrait um, setup. Oh, it feels really cool. I love this. <laughs> it's got that, that soft um, kind of matte sort of finish. Oh, it just feels so funny. <laughs> I don't know what works on it. So, I mean, I know it says wet. I don't know, but you know how watercolor is. Watercolor needs to be absorbed. So we'll see. I'll have to try. I'll have to, um, I'll do a, a video of me using this, see how it works. But I'm going to test a couple of different mediums on here to see what works best. That's so neat. So, yeah. They're all the same, it's just this one's biggest. <laughs> and this one... Etcher. I love Etcher. Etcher is my absolute favorite. I love cold press. I have one of these, but it's more than halfway done. And I wanted to start a project. Ta-da! I did my uh, my Inktober last year in the book I have. Where is it? I do have another etcher that I've only used one page in, but it's huge, and I didn't want to use a big one. I wanted one this size. But this is the one I did my Inktober in, so, and I really love it. Um, but it's more than halfway done, and I really wanted to dedicate one book to this project. I wanted to paint the animals that I get in my yard. It's mostly gonna be birds, because I just have a lot of birds. Um, right in front of me, I've got my feeders set up, <laughs> and um, and I like watching them, so I thought I would paint a little picture of them. Maybe I can do like a monthly series. I can do one a month or something like that. And I have animals too, little animals that show up once in a while. So um, I guess I can open this. Not that I need to know what it's like, but and I love the covers, even though they cat hair magnets. I usually will paint them like I painted this one red. Um, I'm curious about the spine in this and if it's going to... Let's check. No, yeah, it looks the same. I thought this little black thing was new, but I'm curious to see if it falls apart like <laughs> the other one. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. Oh, it's just the fact that it ripped away. So it's like right here. So maybe they've changed it. Yeah, because this opened directly up with a page to paint on. And this one has an end paper that's glued to here. So maybe it's different now. They probably did change that a bit. There's actually two pages. So that's good. They probably won't um, break off like this one. Well, like I said, I don't even care because this paper is so nice. So, Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope um, it was fun. I hope you found something that you want to buy. That's what usually happens to me when I watch um, when I watch haul videos. Thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you next time.